Hey there everyone, Palo here and welcome back. It's another tutorial for X4 Foundations. In this one we're going to be talking, we're going to go over very briefly how to manually dock, then we're going to show off the Docking Computer Mark 1 and Docking Computer Mark 2, just so you can see what they bring in order to make it a little bit easier to uh, dock. The docking itself isn't very hard, uh, but the cost of the docking computers are quite cheap. Uh, let's begin, we're just going to request some docking permission here. Right now I've removed the docking computers from my ship, I have nothing to do with that, or they're, they're completely gone, we're just going to be a standard dock. We're going to come on in here, and what they basically tell you is make everything green. Well, that's part of the truth. Uh, first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and you want to bring this up until your center, like your... Uh, your field of view, your direction is in this green area somewhere, you know, in this where that's, that turns green. At that point, I like to unlock my mouse just so I won't move. Uh, next thing we want to do is this little red triangle with the, the line across the top. We want to put that somewhere roughly center where these two arrows line up green. At that point, we're going to go ahead and we're going to move forward until this guy starts coming up in there, uh, at which point we're going to do a zero at that line is green. The last step, you're not actually going to make this red triangle turn green. It's not going to happen. The last step is just to lower your elevation, which is going to be indicative of this blue upside down triangle, or just a blue triangle pointing down. Uh, and we're going to bring that down until he meets with the red triangle. When those two meet, boom, we have landed. That's how you do a manual landing. It, they, they say just line up all the green, and it's mostly right once you understand it. It's fairly simple, uh, but it takes a little bit more. Uh, at this point now, we're going to go ahead and jump into the software uh, right here and add a docking computer, Mark 1. I'm going to apply to shopping list and confirm. Once it's done, we'll go ahead and take off, and we'll go from there. Okay, same thing now with Docking Computer Mark 1. We will request doc docking permission. The Docking Computer Mark 1, for the most part, I don't recommend getting it. What it will do is when you are finally, everything's relatively in the green and you're close, it will take over and do the Z for the most part. It will lower you down. It's actually technically Y, but you get the point. Uh, so come in here. We're actually too far, so let me reverse up. We'll stop about there, come back up about there. Uh, now I'll let you know, so I'm just toggling, I'm lowering down, lowering down, lowering down, and... There, the docking computer took over. So the last very little bit is where the docking computer takes in. Doesn't really do too much. It's pretty darn pathetic. Now, it's only 7,000 credits, but realistically, by the time the docking computer Mark 1 takes over, you just need to hold whatever your decrease elevation button is for another three seconds, and you're going to land. Uh, what we're going to do now is jump over to the docking computer Mark II, which, you know, it is 32, 33,000 credits, uh, but we'll add that in, and we'll do it again. Okay, the final demo now with the docking computer Mark II. Basically, fly into the landing pad. That's all you got to do. You don't even have to be going the right direction, like they want to space in that way. You just fly towards the landing pad and it docks you. You can come down nose on it. You can come in from the wrong angle, from the side. As long as you get close to the landing pad, it's going to automatically take over and dock. Is this really required? No. As we saw in the beginning of this video, the manual docking is not hard. However, for 32, 33,000 credits, you know, it is a nice quality of life improvement to make coming and going from the space instance a lot easier. Uh, skip the docking computer Mark 1. Once you have the money, get a docking computer Mark 2 in the primary ship you fly around in. I think it's worth the money. Um, your, cho you know, your, your mileage may vary, but it's just super simple to land with that thing. All right, everyone. Till next time, this has been Power. Thanks for watching.